Hey YouTubers, Test Jess one back again, back again. Look, I just want to um, I just want to touch base with my uh, one twelve figure character building figures that uh, I've started collecting and sort of getting in touch with uh, because of uh, my step down from one six. I simply because I don't have the space. I've, I've got a, I've got all my one six that I really wanted, apart from a couple here and there. Uh, it's purely because of size, and I really appreciate the the, the figures of the one twelve wolf is kicking out now. And uh, look, uh, these companies, there's plenty of companies here. I just wanted to show you quickly um, what I have. I've only just started, and there's there's so much to go into uh, in the future, and I think it's just going to get better. I'm just hoping that the prices don't fluctuate from being okay because they're sort of borderline now to ridiculously high and I'm back to square one where I'm paying absorbent prices for uh, these six inch plus uh, figures uh, and, and it's coming to what I originally paid for Hot Toys one, you know, 112, 16 scale line so this hope it doesn't go there, but uh, there's potential for prices to increase over the time. But for now, I'm enjoying it, and I just want to quickly go around my little lazy Susan. Actually, no, I'm just going to put them on my little sideshow turntable light-up feature, which I've dug out from the from the chests, the archives. Uh, I've got a couple of versions because. Uh, the one I've got with the light set up here is only good for these sort of six inch lines. Uh, when you start to get into the big monsters, I've got this um, center light with uh, a Velcro finish uh, on the top there for grip. So that's what I'll do. Big ones on there, little ones on here. Let's get going. First up, this is my Mezco Conan the Barbarian uh, 112 figure. Boxing is right here. I probably my only gripe really is the um, the size of the box to what it, your figure is. I think they've probably gone a little bit too much with the excess on the packaging side of things. But other than that, you've got a beautiful piece of art of Conan here from uh, the great um, Rosetta. The figure is highly de detailed in articulation and muscle muscle detail it has a beautiful sculpt on the head i love the way the accessories sit on this guy this sword with the real chain and the groin the the loincloth uh, material with the overlapping chain mail it just really sort of the, for the size of the figure what you got it does have plenty of detail that you have to you appreciate from Mezco and not only that you just got to look of uh, look at uh, what uh, has just been released with the Ninja Turtles and appreciate that uh, Mezco are going one step further and making sure that you're getting proper quality when it comes to figures and this is without a doubt no doubt my uh, my my best cone in my collection. So there you go. I do have a, also a statue from Mezco, which doesn't really come into the category of what I'm collecting, uh, but uh, the statue is just as good. So if you're into and just into a little bit of uh, small smaller scale statues, there's a Conan that's just coming out uh, for pre-order. Jump on that one because that is fantastic. So there you go, my first figure from Mezco, Conan the Barbarian. Now where is my box from Fazetta Girls? My second in line is the Frazetta Girl. I don't have the box to show you at the back here, but uh, it's from Frazetta Girls. It's only just been released. Uh, it's not that old. Uh, highly detailed in the in the muscle area. It's fairly 
fairly good articulation, um, st stiff somewhat, but a little bit uh, in some areas, probably a little bit off and needs a bit more work. Uh, in particular, the knee area is uh, quite ugly when it comes to bending. It's a single articulation in these joints of the elbow and the knee. I I do also do have a, a bit of an issue with that uh, the axe. It's a little bit on the thin side. So when you when you're sort of making thin weaponry like this one, you probably want to make sure that you have fairly relaxed, rubberish sort of style hands. Uh, these were not rubberish hands. They are quite stiff and plastic. Uh, this has caused me to kink the axe a little bit. Not snap but kink the axe a little bit. Uh, if it was a little bit thicker, it probably wouldn't have happened. So, for Zeta girls, you probably want to make sure that uh, when you do your weapons in the future, make them a little bit thicker. Uh, yeah. We're talking good... Weapons have got to be big and ugly and, and mean and fierce, you know. You can't, you can't have petite little double X head uh, weapons with, uh, with a thin toothpick handle so <laughs> but uh look love love this figure he he stands tall he's he's uh probably going to be up near the six foot six mark i suppose in the uh in the size measurements so he's a little bit bigger than the six inch wow well, let's have a quick measure quick 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 uh he is yeah he's on the seven he's on the seven there Great figure, but uh, keep up the good work for Zeta Girls. There is another release coming soon. Uh, um, yeah, great stuff. Right, next up is uh, the is Durban uh, from Mythic Legions, the Four Horsemen. Great, uh, great figure. Comes with plenty of bits and pieces, like that bird, that hawk. And the and the the soft goods on this is great. Really do appreciate the packaging. And you know, I'm talking. I want to highlight packaging. It's very this small packaging. Uh, it has these fold out uh, flaps on the back of this clamshell style um, front with uh, easy removal of the card. No damaging. No gluing. So it's great for the environment. Uh, and. Uh, we're talking, we've got to go small packaging, cost effective, postage is expensive. So getting back to this great figure, I I, I think the guys are, are nailing it uh, in the Mythic Legion era. This guy is so cool, so mean ass, so badass. It does come with, I think this horse belongs to him. I'm going to quickly show you now. I'm going to put it in front of the screen. Hopefully it doesn't affect the screen too much. There we go, quick view. <laughs> That's a quick view of, uh, what's his name? Quick, 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 quick. Um, wow. Uh, it's it's Bo Boreas. Oh no, sorry, wrong one. Boreas. No, it's Boreas. Yes, yeah, Boreas. Definitely, yes, yeah, Boreas is the horse for this guy. Uh, again, great articulated horse. This guy looks fantastic sitting on him. Must have for uh, one twelfth collectors, uh, Mythic Legion. These guys know what they're doing. I'm I'm buying up a few here and there for the for the future. But I love love their line. Love where they're going. Love their interchangeable parts. Can't go wrong. Way to go. Right, the Knight of War 112 collectible figure. This is uh, just a third party, I suppose. It doesn't uh, belong to any sort of line of comics or anything like that, as, as far as I believe. So, yeah, this is a um, highly articulated uh, figure. He is, look, a good video to watch in regards to this one. He's uh, that articulated ninja dude. He does a great video on all the um, details of these figures really enjoyed watching that video and 
Also, custom comics, I, I really like watching his videos too on how to put things together. And that, this is uh, just saved by the bell there. Uh, <laughs> it comes with a great shield, sword, there's a couple of sort of like um, warlord, uh, god of war, sorry, um, knives, plenty of accessories, highly articulated, love the dark look, the... the sort of, I uh, so more of a, uh, what would you say, it's more of a medieval type uh, knight sort of look to him. I believe it's, I might be wrong, but I but do believe it's, uh, it relates to the Batman comic. I might be wrong, but going by this shield and the way it looks like a bat, uh, it could be, could be on the cards there. Yeah, like I said, he's, he's a very tall, tall, dark and handsome. He's, he stands, ooh, let's have a look. Yeah, he's a big boy. He's, he's huge, with all this armor and all that, those huge boots and stuff, I suppose. He's hitting it just over the seven and a half inches. Value for money there, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> you know, value for money. If you, you're going to complain about your figure's too big or, <laughs> well, appreciate what, what 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 you get for your money. He gets this cool uh, helmet type thing. I'm not sure if that's coming to focus. Right. Yeah, very cool, cool helmet that you can put on him. Fantastic figure as far soft goods is the cape and it wires up really well. And I love the the fold and the tears in in the cape sort of just if we're not put him on a horse I would recommend oh, this one here mythic legends again with their cool cool horses this one here this one here is I believe it's Pho Phobus uh, Phobus Phobus the it's a vampire horse apparently. Anyway, he looks great on that horse. Great figure. Must buy.